<gasps> so much news! likes thumbs up all right Blah! so much news all right first i'm gonna talk about the news i reported a little bit earlier nintendo has announced an all new switch model out of nowhere bro they were just like you know what y'all bored y'all want another switch here you go <laughs> that's it and it looks just like this switch but there's more than meets the eye brah not talking about transformers first all new packaging where's my eye let me get my packaging let me get the packaging oh, oh i got my amiibo on them still this is in my game room this is the packaging of the old switch has white more for white background the new packaging has red all around it means nintendo's going for blood no they're not all right but all new nintendo switch has been announced i think this is what a lot of people have been speculating the switch pro this is it don't expect crazy a crazy graphical upgrade the biggest thing first i do think that we're gonna get a sneak upgrade in there somehow watch but first, the battery life. The battery life on this thing is insane. Bro. Nintendo has just outdone the Switch Lite. Bro. The current Switch has 2.5 to 6.5 hours. 2.5 to 6. This new Switch has four and a half to nine hours battery life that is huge a huge upgrade from the current switch now compare both of these to the light the light the switch light has three to seven hours which is an improvement over the original but nowhere close to this new switch model now this is why i say this could be what a lot of people have been thinking this was the pro which i always thought that nintendo wasn't going to do anything like crazy with this new model because remember the rumor said we we're going to get a light and an improved switch model that looks identical to the current model and nintendo has officially announced this model this is what I think Nintendo is doing right here. Right here. You see the Xbox One S? The Xbox One S was pretty much an improvement on the base Xbox in every way. Sleeker design. It was just a, just a better system. And one feature <coughs> the Xbox One S had that they did not publicize. They sort of just snuck it in. It had faster, better processing power than the OG Xbox. Frame rate, when Digital Foundry used to do um, frame rate analysis of OG Xbox and Xbox One S games, the Xbox One S games, the frame rates were always bet better. I really think this is what Nintendo's doing with this um new switch now it just got announced the only thing we know better battery life i'm thinking more than likely the same processing chip a cpu gpu whatever that's in the light will probably also be in this model a more efficient tegra x1 where we could see 
slight gameplay game and performance improvement i'm not saying we're gonna get anything crazy or big who knows it might not be nothing but we do have a new switch model for me bro just having that extended battery life up to nine hours nintendo y'all taking all my money bro i'm just gonna get a light now I'm gonna get a, a light. I'm gonna get a light for my daughter. I'll probably give one of my kids this switch, and I'm gonna get a more powerful switch. We're gonna have five switches in this house. OMG, but it's worth it. Alright, speaking of new hardware, Nintendo's like, oh, that's all you thought we were doing? We're not done yet, bro. Nintendo has announced new. Joy Cons! Joy Con boys! Alright. We have four new colors. A dark blue and then light the neon one, which is <coughs> what I already have, but they're they're paired together. The color combination's a little weird. You thought this was weird? Check out this one. Purple and orange. Wowzers! No rhyme or reason for that color combination. If you want to have the ugliest looking switch on the block, <laughs> go for it. Bro, I'm going to get me the purple and orange ones. Just because, just because, I'm going to pick those up, bro. It's sort of a Splatoon vibe, but it looks ugly. That's an ugly color combination. King Boo's laughing at it. All right, speaking of King Boo, whoo, the news today. Ah, oh, Nintendo's put a smile on my face. Nintendo has officially confirmed the launch date for Luigi's Mansion 3. I wish I had my, I should have put up previous um, video clips where I said the perfect launch date would be October 31st on Halloween. What day is this game coming out? October 31st! Ow! Now, it was previously rumored that it was coming at the beginning of October, but those were rumors. This is officially announced by Nintendo October 31st. Bruh! There's two games this year that are on the top of my list. Number one, Zelda Link's Awakening. Zelda, favorite gaming series. You already know how I roll with Zelda. Number two, this Luigi's Mansion, bro. Luigi's Mansion, the GameCube was lit. Dark Moon on the 3DS was lit. This game looks litter than the rest, bro. Litter. That's right. I made up that word. Using that form. Litter, not a cat litter. Litter is better than lit. So, Luigi's Mansion 3, October 31st. Perfect. 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 Day one by online multiplayer you know we picking it up and the nintendo news keeps on going bro nintendo dropped a new trailer on their website talking about july games but there is one bit in this clip that has me hyped and fans hyped right there right there right there we're just gonna keep that going Nintendo just sneaked, announced, confirmed hero for Smash is coming in July. What? 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 And so it looks like we're going to be getting hero, the next DLC fighter, sometime in J July. is crazy, bro. Next, in like two days, tomorrow night, I am going to be live streaming it live on YouTube marvel ultimate alliance gonna be gaming with the homies if you're a member on twitch on youtube or on patreon get into the ogc obi-wan plays gaming championships more on that later we have a big giveaway for members coming up but next news insane nintendo switch news i haven't talked about this yet but it looks like wwe 2K20 is making a grand return to the Nintendo Switch. Now, this is still in the rumor column. Base.com has added a Switch listing for WWE 2K20. Now, the game did skip the Switch last year. 
19 because 18 was horrible. The frame rate, it wasn't optimized for the Switch. Maybe they took a year off to better optimize the game for the Switch, but if WWE 2K20 comes out on the Switch, that'll be a day one buy. Grew up on WWF, boy. Y'all don't know about that WWF. But, uh, oh, what was that? Um, the Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase. That, these, this is a 2K19 clip. But 2K20 possibly coming to Nintendo Switch would be a day one buy. And last but not least, what I just hinted to, four members, I'm giving away a Nintendo Switch Lite. That's right, we're having a Nintendo Switch Lite giveaway for members. If you are a member of the OGC Obi-Wan Plays Gaming Championship, I'm going to do a live drawing sometime in September. I don't know when, but before the, the actual console launches, so you don't have to worry about, oh, I need to get one. Boom, Obi-Wan already gave me one. Boy. <coughs> and so, um, also, Marvel Ultimate Alliance launches tomorrow night. Going to be gaming with the members. Marvel Ultimate Alliance, I game with the members every night. We have prize tournaments, just a dope, dope, dope gaming community. Um, if And if you already have Twitch Prime, you could join for free. You could become a Twitch sub for free through your Twitch Prime membership. It's a no-brainer. YouTube or Patreon.com backslash Obi-Wan Plays. I appreciate all the additional support. That's it for this video. Crazy stuff. Bro, tonight I will be playing Smash with the members on Twitch, on Twitch, on Twitch. Crazy news today, man. Insane news. What do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know. But before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things Nintendo. We out, boy. laughing all video what's so funny bro what